Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. So here we are taking another look at our team associated SC10 that we're prepping to race over at NorCal Hobbies, our local uh, track. And um, we had narrowed the servo search down to three that we had in, in our garage handy. Uh, the Traxxas 201 eight the um the team associated shv 1504 mg and the hpi racing sf 10 w so um after doing a little research on the internet uh we decided to go with the team associated because it had the uh the best specs so uh the the two key specifications you want to look for when choosing a servo are the torque and also the speed. So the torque is how strong the, the servo is, right? And this may differ whether you're using metric or or standard measurements, right? It, it's gonna be, uh, for, for, for standard here in the, uh, the US, it's gonna be ounces, uh, ounce inches, right? So um, that is the spec and, and the uh, team associated had the best. It also had the best speed. Now, um, speed is measured in uh, usually how fast a servo can turn 60 degrees. So, uh, you know, if you were looking at, uh, at it up here, you know, to turn 60 degrees, right? So, uh, the, uh, the associated servo had this best specs uh, amongst the servos that we have that'll fit. It was uh, 0.18, so it's called 0.18 here, um, seconds, right? And that's how long it takes to cover 60 degrees. And another key thing to note is that this was at six volts. So when you apply six volts to the servo, it takes 0.18 seconds to travel 60 degrees. Um, the, um, the HPI actually had the same speed, but it was, it was uh, considerably less, uh, it had considerably less torque. And I don't, I don't remember the exact figure here, but uh, it was it was uh, much weaker, and then the Traxxas was much slower. It was 0 0.22 seconds, and you you really want to make sure that you're you're comparing apples to apples here, so that uh, you are you know comparing it at six volts because sometimes companies will measure it at 4.8 volts or at seven volts. Uh, a higher voltage will make the servo go faster. Uh, proportionally so actually I'm not sure if it's proportional but it will make it go faster so that you want to make sure that you're you're comparing apples and apples uh, this this was uh, these servos were both at 6 volts and one was 0.18 the uh, team associated and the Traxxas was 0.22 um, and you know if you subtract those right uh, that's actually 0.04, and you, you're not talking about a lot um, in terms of numerically. You know, that's 0.04 seconds, right? That's that's um, that's pretty small there. But uh, percentage-wise, that is pretty large, right? You're looking at uh, approximately, um, you know, uh, a fifth, right? Uh, so 20%, you know, it's, it's, it's probably less than that, you know, 18% or whatnot. I can't do the math off the top of my head, but... Um, it's going to be, you know, that's that's pretty considerable. 18, you know, 20% is is fairly um, substantial, right? So you you probably will notice the difference if you're, you know, if you're um, uh, a moderately good driver there. So uh, just walking you through our servo selection process. Uh, we'll go ahead and get this mounted in the next episode, but just wanted to go over those those figures and selecting a servo, our decision making process. Uh, so thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.